So our latest remote control project is a bandit wood chipper. So we're developing this remote control kit for a few different versions of wood chippers. Vermeer's being the other, this one being a bandit. The installation should take a reasonably competent electrician around four hours to install. Current costing is about $1,200. And this compares very favorably with the 5,000 Australian dollars that the wood chipper companies are asking for this option. Uh, Gustin's just doing the prep work for the electrical installation. This is the actual remote control receiver unit. So that's the receiver box there. This is the internals. Everything is inside an IP67 waterproof and dustproof enclosure. The wood chipper is a Bandit model Intimidator 15 XPC. It has a 145 horsepower engine. The chipping drum is 24 inches in diameter and has four knives. And the feed rate can be up to 120 feet per minute. There's the bar that controls the feed manually. That's the business end of the machine. This is where we are. The operators will feed the, the tree trunks and the branches and the leaves. Uh, the winch system is actually a manually controlled system. It doesn't actually have an automatic valve like the rest of the machine has. Um, we didn't actually put a remote control on that. It was not... Uh, client didn't want it, didn't include it in the budget. Uh, feed is actually... He doesn't use the winch. He actually uses a machine. Uh, a four-wheel skid steer with a four-in-one bucket to feed the machine. Uh, installation's done. We're just doing some testing now. So the remote control is just a small four-button remote control. Button one actually is the accelerate function. So it's a momentary function. The longer you press it, the more it will accelerate. So up to its full maximum speed the longer you hold the button. Button 2 is the de decelerate function. Again, it's also a momentary function. The longer you hold it, the quicker it will decelerate as well. The feed function is button 3 and 4. Pressing button 3 will actually go into what's called automatic mode. Uh, button 4 is a momentary re um, reverse of function. So the long, while you hold it down, it will reverse whatever the function is doing. So at the moment, it's in, it's in reverse or safe mode. Now it's in feed mode. So when it's in feed mode, um, it's in automatic mode. So the machine takes over. If it gets too much load on the cutting wheels, the machine will automatically stop the feed and even slightly reverse the feed. And then once this machine, the cutter wheel, comes back up to the correct speed, it'll then feed again. Uh, again, button four is a momentary reverse. So whatever the current feed is doing, pressing and holding button four will actually reverse that function. So if it's feeding and you press button four, it'll go straight into reverse. Here we are actually speeding it up to full speed. As you can see, the cutters are on full speed.